on to problem 2b of uh, Rosenlich's intro to, uh, intro to analysis. So in this problem we're showing um, these all these sets are equal to each other and of course there's multiple ways you can do this. You can show that A union A is equal to A intersect A and then show that A intersect A is equal to A union the empty set and then show that A union the empty set is equal to A. But I'm just going to show that each of these sets A union A is equal to A and then A intersect A is equal to A and then A union the empty set is equal to A. So um, first we're going to show that A union A is equal to A and this might seem really trivial that we're doing this but we're going to practice we're, remember we're practicing our proof writing and careful rigorous argument writing um, in mathematics. So um, remember when we're showing okay so when we're showing a uh, set equality, we have to show that the two sets are subsets of each other. So remember, we have to show first that A union A is a subset of A, and then later, the second step will be to show that A is a subset of A union A. So to do this, we're just going to say, okay, let X be an A union A. And if we can show that this X must, must also be an A, then we've shown that any x that lies in A union A must also be in A, and therefore that they're subsets of each other. So let x be in A union A, then x, then x must be in A, or x is in A, by definition of, un of set union. And taking the first case, again this might seem trivial, but we're practicing our rigor here. So suppose x is in A, Suppose x is an A, then x must be an A. Um, now suppose, now suppose that x is an A, our second option, this option, x is an A, then x is an A. So we've done that, nice. So we've shown that A union A is a subset of A. Now all we have to do is show the other way, that A is a subset of A union A. And to do this, we're going to leverage a certain fact. We're going to leverage the fact that A, or rather, let me, let me say it more generally, any set X, any set X, is a subset of X union any other set X, any other set Y, excuse me. X is a subset of X union Y for any sets X and Y. And I won't prove this here, but I think you should try to prove this on your own um, as, as homework or after, after this video, uh, or even pause this video and try to prove this on your own. Um, this is an important thing to think about. But anyways, leveraging this fact, so let, let me change back to blue here. So let X be an A, then X is in A union X, for any set, this is the this is the shorthand for for any an upside down a, for any x. Oh, excuse me, for any set x. Usually, when people put the bars on top, that uh, means that they're talking about a set x. And um, so, x must be an a union a. And we're done. We're done with uh, this first part one, showing that a union a is equal to a. <clears throat> now, on to the next part of this video where we're going to show that A intersect A is equal to A. And again, this might seem really trivi trivial to you, but again, we're practicing our rigor and proof writing. And we're going to practice something else here. We're going to practice proof by contradiction. And we're going to prove, we're going to do proof by contradiction for both showing that A intersect A is a subset of A and showing that A is a subset of A intersect A. So first we're going <coughs> to, excuse me, we're going to show that A intersect A is a subset of A by via contradiction. So to do this by contradiction, we're going to suppose that it's not a subset of A. And let's, 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 think, let's think some on what this might mean. So suppose that A intersect A is not, is not, this is a subset sign with a cross through it, is not a subset 
of a. So let's 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 think about this. What does that mean? So if something's a subset of something, it means that every single element, every single element at a intersect a also lies in a. So if it's not a subset of if a intersect a is not a subset of a, then that means there must exist. So this is the short for exist. There exists. There exists some x that is in a intersect a such that x is not in a so let's let's go forward with this and let's say okay like if that x is in a intersect a and that same x is not in a then this implies that since x is not in a x must be in the complement of a but if x is in the complement of a, then it can't possibly be in a and a. Thus, we arrive at a contradiction. If x is in the complement of a, then x must lie outside of a. So it couldn't, and this contradicts our given, which is saying, our given is saying, okay, there exists some x in a and a. And since there's some, since x are going forward with the contradiction, if x isn't in a, then x must be in the complement of a, which means it can't possibly be in the intersection of a with a. So that's our first contradiction, and that shows that a intersect a is a subset of a because we arrive at a contradiction if this is if we were to suppose that this is false. And doing the same thing, going the other direction, a similar by a similar argument, if you want to show that a a is a subset of a intersect a, then suppose. Well, again, you're going to argue by contradiction. Suppose A is not a subset of A intersect A. Then this means, that implies, that there exists an X in A such that X, that X, that same X, is not in A intersect A. Now, let's go forward with this. Let me kind of divide out my room here. If x is not in a intersect a, then we know that, remember, if x is not in something, that a set, then that means it's in the complement of that set. So that means that x is in the complement of a intersect a. And um, this leads me to another point that we, I'm going to highlight here, that if the complement of a set intersecting another set is the same as, and this is by De Morgan's law, is the same as A complement U union the complement of A. So the complement of A intersect A is the same as the complement of A union the complement of A. And actually that goes for any two sets. That goes for any set X and Y. X intersect Y the complement of x intersect y is the same as the complement of x union the complement of y. So, leveraging this fact, if a is in the complement, let me switch back to blue here, if a, let me go all the way, well, let me just make some more room. We're done over here, so I'm going to, I'm going to jump over here if that's okay. So, if x is in the complement of a intersect a, then x is in the complement of a union the complement of a. And I think also on your own time you should try to prove this. Uh, you should try to prove De Morgan's laws. Um, uh, and look look those up online as well. The, there's there's another law that says the complement of a union a, or the complement of rather, the complement of x union y, the complement of x union y, is equal to the complement of x intersect the complement of y. But anyways, try to prove these on your own, give them some more thought, um, but go, we have to get back to our problem here. Um, if x is in if x is in the complement of a union the complement of a, then that means x is in the complement of a or x is in the complement of a. And 
In both cases, x is not an a. But look at this. This contradicts our original assumption that saying saying that um, we, we took this a x that was in a and said that implies that x is not an a intersect a. But we just said oh, we just went off of that and said, oh, then x must not be an a, which is a contradiction to our original assumption that x lies in a and cannot be an a intersect a. So we just contradicted the fact that x is an a, and therefore 2 holds true as well, that a is a subset of a intersect a. Because supposing anything different, supposing that this weren't true, then that would lead to a contradiction. Let me create some more room here for the third part where we're going to show that a union a, uh, I'm sorry, a union the empty set is equal to a. And to do this, we're going to do it the usual. We're going to show that they're subsets of each, of each other. All right. So first, we're going to show that a union, the empty set, is a subset of a. And to do that, so like usual, let x be in a union the empty set, and if we can show that any arbitrary x that it lies in A union the empty set must also be in A, then we've showed that A union the empty set is a subset of A. So let x be in A union the empty set, then x is in A, or x is in the empty set. But since the empty set is defined to be the set containing no elements, then x cannot be in the empty set, because the empty set doesn't have any elements which implies that x must be an a. So we're done with this part, with this first step. All we have to do left is show that a is a subset of a union, the empty set. But I'm sure you're thinking, as we talked about before, what did we say? x, it, for any set x, x is a subset of x union any set y. And this is the same case here. a is a subset of, so, Leveraging this fact again, like we did before, we're going to say that A, excuse me, and so let me say that let X be an A, then X must be an A union X for any, for any set X, for any X, which implies that X must be an A union, the empty set. And we're finished with all three equalities.